All right, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Mercedes series on F1 Manager 2022. I firstly have to apologize for the sound on the last video where basically the microphone just wasn't working. As you'll see in the future, the same happened on the recording of my Alfa Romeo, so I've had to re record over that and basically just talk through the gameplay in a hindsight kind of point of view. But today we are going to be smashing through the I think it's Imola. I think it's Imola we're going to next. So it is an Italian Grand Prix at Imola, not Monza, which is where I prefer it. But all in all, we're going to try and continue the good form that we've shown so far. George Russell, I keep forgetting he's got a development point. We need to add it to the car, which, well, not the car, to him. At which point I'm probably going to be looking at Racecraft because that seems to be his weakest area. And I think we might give it maybe to his... Yeah, give it to his defending, try and boost that up a little bit because he needs, he's got a lot of work to be done with him in particular. We've got a good lineup, but if Lewis Hamilton decides to retire, we do need to start looking at potential replacements for him, which is obviously... Oh, hang on, we've got a regulation vote. Minor technical changes. Major influence for all fair of competitors. With these goals, we have proposed minor technical regulations for 2023. Our data suggests that... that it yeah, has become too easy for drivers to follow cars closely in front to gain a racing advantage. This proposal aims to create more space between cars and reduce the number of red flag incidents. Um, please review the technical summary below. This will impact all teams regardless of their... So please vote with consideration to the fairness. The airflow. Keep with the airflow. Yeah, confirm. Well, that's what I'm voting for. I'm so George Russell has low morale, well, which will make it difficult to keep them when the Why has he got low morale for? Keeping them paired with me as their racing engineer to build our affinity. Building or upgrading facilities have improved our offering them a high salary and a lifestyle bonus if you renegotiate their contract. Performing well on race. Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd be a bit down if I'd been taken out by... Um, oh, hang on. Well, I thought we were manufacturing it, the suspension. Yeah, we are in development. We've got something in development. I want to actually look at potentially designing a new underfloor, but we need to design that. So... We've got a few more hours, we'll take it down to two. One to the hours, we've got a few as well, haven't we? So we'll take that down to 30, and that'll give us a boost, and we'll design. Design that, and that should hopefully start to boost us a little bit. 900,000. Yep, let's go. Important email. So, yeah. I know I've got a low number, don't you worry. Design completed for the chassis and it's now ready to be manufactured, which is what we'll do now. Suspension manufacturing product is finished and ready to be installed. So we have got a new, we've manufactured more of the suspensions. Oh, we've got an issue with low morale in the team, haven't we? So I need to basically hire some new talent, it seems, which we'll look for at some point, research a new car part. So I'm thinking, yeah. We'll research. Take it down to 20. Yeah. Confirm that. Warehouse. So in terms of the engine, I think we've only used one. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Major damage to the car part may result in reduced performance. That's conditions 5%. So we need to install that on car 2. There we go. So I'll click on it. There you go. Condition 67%. Okay. So at least we got that we can look at. 
EROS poor condition. I've noticed that the EROS that we have stored in car 2 is in poor condition and suffering reduced performance. Please consider replacing it soon to avoid it failing during the race. Just so that you're aware there is a limit to how many copies of this car part we can use on each car during the season. If we exceed that we'll face a grid penalty. Oh jeez. So here we are. Oh hang on. His gearbox and all Oh no, I think that's from the crash. I think the crash destroyed his gearbox. So it's still that in car two. If I remember rightly, it did come up, and I think the whole reason why that's down is is it killed his gearbox basically. I don't necessarily blame him for the crash at all. Um, it was very, it was well. I don't blame him for the crash. Gasly locked up and went into the back of him. Like it wasn't his fault in the slightest. Yeah, we'll go for that again. Race targets, finish position. Sixth, yep, that's what we're laying for. And qualifying position streak. There we go. So the race weekend we go. stuff and we're gonna beat them on it yeah Sorry, Crofty, but we've got business to be done here, and we intend to do it. So, once again, we're not going to do the practice, because I'm just not that good at it, in all fairness. So, simulate to qualify, and hopefully they do well. If they don't, then I will have to spend a bit more time learning how to do the practice, and I'll probably end up editing that out of these, because I just don't see the point in me going through practice with you guys. It's a bit pointless, really. Yeah, on to quali we go. In fact, that reminds me, the Dutch Grand Prix qualifying is a matter, I think, about an hour away as I'm recording this. So we were fifth and seventh in FP3. Set of confidence we need. Yeah, we've got. To, I've got to get better at it. Things I can't get sixty odd percent. We will manage it. Well, shouldn't be too much of an issue. So we will just fly through this quite a bit before we, you know, send our drivers out. I don't see the point in us overstepping the barrier when it comes to tyres. McLaren aren't the team they were last season. They're no threat to us at the moment. It is actually Alfa Romeo and Valtteri Bottas who seems to be the main threat. We want to avoid being stuck, so we're actually just going to wait until the last, I think it's about three minutes. When everyone else starts to go out again is when we'll go out, pretty much. Because I expect us to be able to hit a decent lap time anyway. So there should be a train of cars coming out at some point. Or not. So we'll send Hamilton out. And uh, we'll send Russell out as well. No trying to call so far. 
Here they go. Here they go. So we're not going to get caught behind. That's important. Or we shouldn't get caught behind. We need them to start exiting a bit quicker, unless. Because Hamilton could get caught up here. No, he can't. No, he can't. He'll be alright. He will be alright. So we will go on board with Lewis. Well, not on board. We'll just watch him as he does his thing. We will watch it a bit quicker though, because we do expect to get out quite comfortably. And we'll just wait to see how he does in sector one. So sector one's a 23.5. And another 23.5, so he's a hundredth up on George in sector one. Sector two now is a 26.5. It's a 26.4. So there's now six tenths, or six thousandths, sorry, between George and Lewis. Just about in Lewis's favour. As he crosses the line, he puts himself fourth. And George crosses the line, and he puts himself fifth. And he actually went quicker in Sector 3 than Lewis did. But there you go. Comfortable enough. And we are through in fifth and sixth. We looked to see where Bottas was. Bottas was actually down in 10th, so maybe he's not the threat to us today. We seem quite comfortable ahead of the Alpines as well, three temps, so maybe we're just a little bit ahead of them, but we've still got a big gap to bridge to the Ferraris and Red Bull. Big gap to bridge. So this time, I'm actually going to... Oh, I, did, I meant to change that, so he was using old tyres. I meant to change that. So Lewis will go out on fresh and probably should get out quite comfortably. And now we'll send out George on old softs. We'll just look at what times these lads put in. So here we go. So Lewis goes and puts himself first, but obviously we expect him to go slower. Russell puts himself third. We are expecting, obviously, Leclerc to go quicker. And we'll see where they are. We've got a decent gap to Bottas again, which is nice. So we're just waiting for a couple of these cars to put their times in before we decide what we're doing. Fourth and fifth, I expect Perez to go quicker. He hasn't. We're through. We're through. We don't have to send them out again. They need to find over a second to gain on us, the Alpha Tauris and the McLarens, and I can't see them doing that. So we are th indeed through to the next stage. I don't know why we're running at one time. Let's get up to 16 times. So I expect everyone else to go out. We won't be going out. That's for sure. So here they go. We're going to stay in and we'll see if it costs us or not. I don't think it will. I think we'll still be fourth and fifth come the end of the session. So we're just waiting to see what other people can do. I think, Pe no, Perez, sorry, Mike. Yeah, Perez will improve and put us fifth and sixth. I forgot about him. But otherwise, yeah, untouchable. And still two temps between us and the Alfa Romeos and Alpines, which is the important bit. That is the important bit. And now in Q3, we're going to send Lulu out on old softs to start off with. And to start off with, we'll do the same with George. So they'll both go out on old softs. And if they can set a comparable time, then they can go out on, on fresh softs later on. So George is behind Max, but he's not going to exactly be caught up behind Max, is he? Let's be fair. So 
He's coming up. Hamilton's coming up behind Alonso, which is not good. He's got pass, but he probably got a little held up there. Yeah, you can tell he got held up because he's a tenth down on George. Now we just wait for the right time to send the cars out and go for it with the lads. Right, so we know where we are. We're fifth and sixth currently. Okay. Damn, I forgot to reconfigure. That could actually be classed as a proper bottle job if, if we, you know. There we go, we've done that. There we go, first cars are going. Now we're going. So we've basically gone at the same time, and I think we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves here. So Lewis could get held up by George. So we put ourselves fifth and sixth, and Lewis has put in a time which has gone quicker than George, and we have indeed qualified in fifth and sixth, and comfortably ahead of the Alfa Romeo, of Factory Bottas, and the Alpines. So, yeah, we're... Getting close to that, that first Red Bull. That first Red Bull that we could possibly ever take. Well, the second Red Bull, I suppose. But the first Red Bull that we're closest to. You know, we're not a million miles away from him. Not a million miles away. I actually think Ferrari are your main, your main counterparts, if I'm honest. Although I'm lying, because, oh no, it's practice. Yeah, Charles Leclerc's on pole. He was quickest by at least a tenth every single part of qualifying. Um, Carlos Sainz lines up second, Max Verstappen is third, Perez fourth, and then it comes us ahead of Valtteri Bottas, who once again is the main threat to us. So we've done that. So that's nice. Nice bit of cash coming in there. We've now got to... Uh, we can't lose anything for that, but if we finish at least sixth, then we get 144,000. And yeah, here we go. Let's come up with a strategy for these lads. So I'm thinking... If we just do that for Lewis, just go for the bog standard, and then maybe do that other one for for George, where he could possibly be a bit more aggressive. Although, can't we move that last? Well, I'd I'd be wanting to move this because I think it could be quicker. That's what we'll go for. We'll just have a little play around with Lewis's one, see if there is a way to maybe get get him to be a bit more. Because realistically, hmm, do we start on? I'm thinking now, do we just start on soft tyres with Lewis? And then we can go a bit more aggressive there, can't we? That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to start on softs, and they're going. He's going to be softs. George will start on hards, and they'll basically do the same strategy but opposite to each other. Let's go. Damn straight we have. I didn't even check if there was any possibility of rain. Whoops. Probably should have done that. Here we go. 
We don't want that view. We want this view. And Lewis is alongside Checo Perez, who's actually managing to get up alongside his teammate now. If we click on George, just behind Lewis there on his hard tyres. We've got to remember, George might be a little bit quicker. He's got a new engine. Oh, he's flown past Lewis. George flies past Lewis and into fifth place. Brilliantly done. Perez has actually passed Max Verstappen as well. We didn't quite see that. But Perez has passed Max. And Alonso is six tenths back on Lewis. But he has gained up to three now. Has Max got an issue? He seems quite a bit slower than his teammate at the moment. And feels like he's dropping off. Other than that, it's a pretty uneventful start to the Grand Prix. Just Russell taking Lewis. Obviously, we've got these cars behind that could potentially battle with us. But we're hoping they don't. Ah, no, I don't want to watch it from that view. Thank you very much. We'll speed it up a little bit. Because right now, it just feels... Yeah. Perez is actually done the fastest lap of the race and Lewis is right behind George here he's and he's gone to the inside and he's bailed out of it he's bailed out of it I'm now wondering whether being stuck behind George is going to cause us Hamilton to be come under threat from the likes of Fernando Alonso I'd like to think not, but there's every chance that is actually the case. We are going to speed it up. Oh. DRS has been enabled, which should potentially see Hamilton make a move at some point on George. Which got to look to now. Maybe push a little bit. So Lewis, we know, is allowed to, to, to be attacking. No, George is allowed to be attacking, isn't he, on these tyres now. Oh, why is Russell so far back from Lewis? He's he's a, he's all of a sudden a second behind Lewis. And therefore, is he under threat from Alonso? No, not really. They've kind of just spread out a little bit. A oh, Lewis has put in the fastest lap of the race early on. Come on, my friend. Russell has caught straight back up to Lewis. And Verstappen has passed Perez. So, we'll see what happens now. Can these lads... We're probably going to have to conserve, conserve fuel at some point, looking at the way that is going. And George has passed Lewis. So, George has passed Lewis. And... I mean, he's got within a second of Sergio Perez. You know, I think Perez is struggling a little bit out there. And there's a bunch of Mercedes fanboys. We've caught right up. What is going on with Sergio Perez? Has he got an issue? Has he got an issue? Or are we just flying at the moment? Because we've pulled away from Bottas in seventh. Here we go, George Russell is right behind him. Go on, George. He's had to back out of that move. I mean, Lewis is right behind this battle. DRS. Perez parks it in the middle of the track. George now... Getting right up behind Sergio Perez. Is he going to try it around the outside? He is. Oh, I think he's failed. He has. Checo holds on. But now he's under threat from Lewis. We'll have to try and close that gap because we've dropped almost a second off Checo now. So we will... Put it on to overtake. Same. 
We'll put it both on overtake. And we will wait till we hopefully catch back up to Checo, in all fairness. And George is catching back up. Here he is right now. We are going to push a little bit more now and try and get past these guys. Because Checo is a sitting duck, I think, at the moment. I think he's an absolute sitting duck for us. And we've got both Mercedes waiting to get past. Waiting. Well, watch it from George's on board here. Come on. Come on, George. It's literally a sitting duck right now. Oh, I didn't expect him to try the move into here. Has he got the traction? No, he hasn't. He's had to bail out. It was the wrong time to try the move, in my opinion. And Lewis just seems to be happy to be being pulled along here. Although, is Lewis going to try and move here on George? As he goes for the inside, he will. And Lewis is going to get up into fifth place. He's got a bit of catching up to do to get up alongside Checo. And he is, in fact, inside of a second now. So, he will have DRS on him. He's obviously got the softer tyre, the more grippy tyre. And as he gets closer and closer to Checo... He will get to a point where you've, he's going to have to back himself to take the move. Lewis understands my demand there. Bottas is well off the pace. He's four seconds off. So we are well part of this little... There's a cluster here of us and Perez. That's the battle we're in today. We're in a battle for fourth. And if we can manage to get it, that would be fantastic. Obviously, Lewis's strategy is completely different to Perez, Verstappen, Sainz, Russell, all of them. But he's not battling with Leclerc and Sainz or Verstappen. He's battling with Perez. And right now, we need him to get right up on Perez's gearbox and use the DRS to get past the rebel. So he's going to have DRS here. Fastest lap of the race. Go on, Lewis. Get in there, Lewis. He's up to fourth. Fantastic. Fantastic overtake. Russell's now right behind Checo. And the question is, do we pull away from the Red Bull with Lewis? Do we pull away? I'd like to think we will, but we might not. There's every chance we might not. Sergio Perez goes defensive from George, but George is having a look. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it, George. You don't need to. Right now, Checo is staying within Lewis's DRS. So when we get to that straight, he's not going to be under as much threat from George as he could be. But George, certainly, we're going to push him. Yeah, reduce it, mate. We need you to go for this, buddy. Ah, oh, we're at DRS, that's why. So we're going to harvest it. Eve. I think Checo here might get Lewis. He's certainly closing up to him with the DRS as well as... He didn't have ERS, but he had DRS, and that's the thing right there. There was no ERS, but he had DRS, and he's going to... He's going to put Lewis under a bit of pressure. What tyres has he got on? He's on hard, says Checo. We've just got to try and get George past him now. And put it back into neutral. Because right now, Lewis is going to be under proper threat. So 
going through here and we're just kind of Lewis is going to get taken by Checo here put that unbalanced she also there you go Perez has got passed I'm expecting Russell to make a move as well no no Russell didn't make a move the question now is will Checo pull away and I think he is pulling away a little bit Russell's actually falling out of out of DRS of Lewis I oh, know he's caught straight back up any he? he's caught straight back and they're both caught straight up to Sergio Perez and we'll stay neutral on that front but we've got to try and get past him really and pull away And Hamilton is past. Hamilton is past Sergio Perez. And now he's got to try and stretch that gap to Checo Perez because Checo Perez will have DRS and he will do what he can here to try and get him back in. I think he's going to get him back. No, Lewis keeps him behind. Russell's right on Checo, isn't he? And Lewis trying to open the gap, but Oh, George! What have you done? George locked up. So George locks up. And he's well off the pace now. And that puts us in a little bit of a, a stressful window. Oh, we've got a crash. Vettel's crashed. Let's have a look. So he's going. He seems all... Apparently there's a crash. No, here's the crash. He locks up, goes straight into the wall. Is he out? I don't think he's out. No, he's definitely not out. So George is so far off the pace. And Lewis defended well there from Checo, who's literally right behind him. Should I keep an eye on different things here? And I'm, I'm a little worried for Hamilton, for sure. How can you not be? He's got that Red Bull right behind him, so he's probably going to lose that place soon, you feel. To Sergio Perez, which is fine. You know, you expect it. George is starting to eat into the gap a little bit. Lewis, yeah, here he comes. DRS, you just can't fight a Red Bull with DRS, can you? You know, it's it's going to be a battle for the for the race. This is, I think, Lewis and Checo. Whether Russell can get back in the party is another thing. But we're now just waiting for that for that pit stop. So we will speed it along. Look, Hamilton has got pa past Perez. So it's going to just be a DRS battle per lap between them, innit? And here he comes. Yeah. It's just going to be a battle for the race, I think, now. Oh, Hamilton's actually fallen rather far off of Perez. Quite far off him. And he's not really making the moves to gain... And when I'm sat there thinking, I feel like Verstappen's not going particularly quick in his Red Bull today. Dropping out of DRS is terrible. Russell's actually right on him. We are going to pit him, though, this lap for some hards. So Lewis is in this lap. Just go fucking ham on them tyres. Get rid of them all. We're going to harvest. We're actually going to harvest with George for a bit as well. Get some more. So in he comes. Oh, we can't change it back. 
So when as soon as he's out, which he is now, Lewis come out in tenth. Go to aggressive and just hit that onto neutral. Same with George. We can go back to neutral and I've harvested enough energy for it to be worthwhile. And let's see what happens over the next coming laps. We should see Hamilton's on fresh tyres start to eat up into the other tax. If we put it onto attack, we almost definitely will see. He's actually up to seven, so it's cars, pit. Leclerc is one of those who pit. And George is... There's Perez. Where's George? He's stuck behind Albon at the moment. He's just gone through. So now he's in fourth. And he's actually closing up, I think, a little bit, is he? You know, he's staying about 1.4 seconds. In terms of Hamilton, as long as he gets past Ocon here, then... We're back to where we should be, and there's no worries from anybody else. But I feel like Ocon should probably pit before we get there. Obviously, we're trying the undercut here with Hamilton. We are trying a bit of a, quite a wild undercut. And George Russell is right on Perez here, and he's through. He's through. He's overtaken Perez. And now he's... We will watch it. Why not? I'm pretty sure I know what it looks like, but let's watch it. Yeah, under DRS and through. Brilliant move from George. Now he's just got to try and pull away from Sergio Perez, which is not exactly easy. And Hamilton is doing well. Perez right on George, you know. He's, he's always there. And looks, look at his ties. He's okay. He is okay. And Hamilton now is just trying. He's got a few cars ahead of him. And this is where, when they pit, the big question comes in here. Who has the undercut worked for Lewis? Is he gaining on them? As he's coming around. He's actually gaining on Ocon, who's still not pit. And we will have to say fuel. At some point with both our drivers. In fact, I'm going to do that now with Lewis. I'm just going to conserve fuel. And get it back in the green. And we'll do it with George. Soon. We're not going to do it now. We're going to do it now with George. Lewis saving fuel is right on Ocon. He needs to get it past him. And he needs to do it quickly if he's going to make the undercut work. And he is there. He's passed Ocon. He has passed Ocon. No, he just needs to get Ocon. And Ocon is out. So Lewis is doing everything he can do. Realistically, he's doing everything he can do. We're going to put him on to conserve some fuel now. Which will probably see Perez get past him. Ah. I think we're going to pit. George. I think if we pit George maybe putting on some mediums. Pit him for some mediums and we should get to the end. So we're going to do that. We have had a car on wide. Did they crash? Oh, he's beached it. That's what's happened. He's beached it. He's ran wide, beached the car. And ultimately, yeah. So we can put him on conserve now. I mean, it doesn't really matter. What George does at this point. So as we come around, will Perez pit? That's the question. No. No, Perez hasn't pit. So Russell will be ahead of Lewis. 
And right now, these three have got to pit. So those three are going to have to pit. We could be on for a podium here. There is a small chance we could be on for a podium. We're going to save fuel. We're saving tyres, more importantly. So we can just go for it at the end. Go attacking. So let's speed this along now until... Safety car in this lap. Well, we haven't really saved much, have we? But... We've saved enough to be able to go back to this and go aggressive. We can go aggressive with him. Probably just maybe balanced. So here we go. Charles Leclerc is on hard tyres. George Russell is on medium tyres. The, the three in front, Sainz, Verstappen and Perez, all need to pit. So we're going to watch this restart. We're actually going to put them on push for the restart. Let's go. Restart. No one pits this lap. So no one's pit this lap. Leclerc's actually going to get... Oh no, that's, that's uh, McLaren getting out of the way. And an Alpha Tauri getting out of the way. So, Charles Leclerc, he knows he's basically won this Grand Prix as long as he stays ahead of George Russell, which he should be able to do quite comfortably, you feel. So, George has already pulled quite a healthy gap over Lewis. And George is right with Leclerc here. He's right with this little gaggle. Verstappen's actually... Not Verstappen. Perez is dropping back. Is he deliberately doing that to give Verstappen a chance of victory here? Hold back Leclerc. Let Verstappen chase after Sainz to potentially get through. So, George is right with him. He really is. And he's on a faster tyre. Let's not forget that. He's on a faster tyre. We'll just speed this up a little bit because there's no real chance to overtake apart from this bit here on this track. And they all stay out again. Leclerc looking to get past Checo here, but Checo's defending brilliantly and valiantly. But in no world can they surely open a gap over us where they're going to open a pit stop, if you get what I mean. Hamilton's already opened a two-second gap up on Ocon, which is fantastic stuff. And Checo Perez is certainly slowing up Charles Leclerc here. And George Russell is right with him. And Lewis Hamilton, I think he's right with him. And all in all fairness, we're going to put us on balanced anyway. DRS is enabled this lap. They've still not pit these cars in front of us. They've still not pit. We're going to come around here. Watch it from George's point of view. So he'll have DRS. Leclerc will have DRS. Verstappen's taken the lead of the Grand Prix. And Sergio Perez doesn't have DRS, but he holds us back. And that is probably Leclerc's. Leclerc's won the Grand Prix right there. I think. We needed, basically, to follow him through on Checo. And we didn't, unfortunately. We, we kind of needed to follow him through, and we didn't. And Checo on older tyres. So thing in sector two. And we should get Checo here with Russell. We didn't. Checo's kept it behind. No, Russell is past. Russell is past. When that comes up, I want to see that, because it did not look like Russell had got through there. So here we go. He went round the outside, and then... So he had the inside line and then round the outside in the final corner. Brilliant stuff. But again, Lewis couldn't follow through and he stuck behind Checo. And now we're presuming 
it'll be Hamilton's time to make a move. He does indeed. And yeah, Verstappen at sight of pit. They're down in ninth and tenth. And Checo will probably pit then this lap. And we are sitting in a world where we have a second and third place car. I don't think a race victory is possible for us. I think, George, it would be a major ask. And there we go. Right, so we'll speed it up. We'll see where we're going with this. We've just got to keep an eye on fuel. I don't think we're going to catch up to Leclerc. No, we are dropping back from Leclerc. That is, that is for sure. We're three seconds off. We've got a nice gap to Bottas and Alonso. Verstappen is quite a bit off the pace of them two. So, realistically, they're not a threat. And right now, I think we're going to be getting a double podium here for Mercedes, which would be a fantastic result. And Charles Leclerc will love this in his battle for the World Championship. And we're going to speed it up until we get a little worried maybe about the gap behind, but I'm not worried about the gap behind at all. Lewis isn't really making any indentation into, into Russell. Oh, not what we needed. Lewis locking up might put himself under a little bit of pressure from Bottas. But, you know, he's fallen off and obviously Russell's just not. Gaining on Leclerc in any way, shape or form. Sainz and Verstappen are battling it out 6th and 7th at the moment. And if Sainz... Sainz needs to keep him behind, that would really help Ferrari, in all fairness. But yeah, nothing's going to be coming of this now, I don't think. There's too much of a gap. We will just speed it up. Charles Leclerc is going to win. Wow. I mean, that's running wide. Oh, that's us. We should have took him off off uh, aggressive, shouldn't we, really? We should have took him off aggressive. He's done underfloor damage. Just put him on standard. Put him on standard. He's got enough of a gap. He doesn't need to be to be worrying about pushing too much and to be fair George isn't gaining so we'll put him on standard as well let's just get the cars home boys just get the cars home we do not want to be bottling what is a double podium we do not want that to be bottling that and do not intend to be bottling that and right now Verstappen and Sainz are right with Bottas and Alonso and it's going to be so interesting. Bottas wants that fourth spot. Has a car stopped on track? Who stopped on track? It's Ricciardo. He's crashed. What's happened to Ricciardo? Does he go into a wall or does he... Yeah. He's crashed completely. Is he out of the race crashed or? No, he's still going. Leclerc is on his last lap. Russ, Russell's on his last lap. And right now, it, what, what, a, what a result to think before the race we had the chance of getting a double podium with Mercedes but we have it's absolutely brilliant absolutely top notch this is exactly what we're looking for and we've done it so we're just waiting now for to come through these last few corners big shunt what's a big shunt Perez is out is he out or has he just crashed? He's catching up to this little gaggle which has Verstappen and Sainz caught up. It's the same cross we've seen. Three times now we've seen that. He's probably still going, but... And he is still going. But he's lost... No, he hasn't lost any places. Somehow he's not lost any places. But here comes Russell. Around the final corner. 
And there we go. It is second place for George. As long as he gets from this corner safe, it'll be third place for Lewis. And it's a double podium for Mercedes. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And in the end, Bottas and Alonso hold off for Stappen and Sainz. Brilliant stuff there too. Absolutely top notch. And look how happy the guys in the garage are. Top notch. Absolutely top notch. George Russell, second place. His best finish of the season. There he is on the podium with Lewis. Charles Leclerc. Ferrari just so much quicker than us. But there we go. Two Mercedes drivers on the podium. You love to see it. Fantastic stuff. Come on. And now it's time for the champagne. <laughs> This could be our best resort of the season, to be honest. Like, I don't know if we'll top this, the second and third. I do not know if we'll top that this season. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Look at these. I like these little cutscenes. They're nice. Miami up next. Already knew that. Don't think we'll have as good a weekend as this, though. There we go. Charles Leclerc wins in MLR. George Russell second. Lewis Hamilton third. Both drivers on the podium. Fantastic stuff for us. Absolutely fantastic. Sammy's in the Drivers' Championship. Lewis Hamilton goes up to fourth. George Russell goes up to fifth. And Sergio Perez drops all the way down to sixth. No chance of us capturing Charles, who is running away with it. In the Constructors, Ferrari hold a 53-point lead over Red Bull. And we're only 20 points off them in third place with a nice, healthy 40-point gap over Alfa Romeo, who are in fourth. So, yeah. There we go. As we look to see their development, Russell gets a nice amount, you know. Hopefully, won't be too far away from a development point. And we get ourselves 4 million incoming from the sponsor. Four million, five million, sorry, incoming from the sponsors. Fantastic stuff. And that is a good Grand Prix to give us a bit of a boost, a bit of confidence going into Miami. Fantastic stuff from Lewis and George. Absolutely over the moon. If you're happy with that resort and if you're enjoying the series, then please do drop this video a like and give the channel a subscribe. This is going to be an ongoing series for quite a while yet. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later.